Ah, in a recent post on the uh, Talk Graphics forums, Odat, a new member, um, raised the question of um, extrusions. He had created um, an extrusion of a figure in um, Coral Draw and he tried to import it into Zara Extreme uh, and it had worked quite well. Um, as you're aware, um, Zara, or might be aware, Zara Extreme has never had an extrusion tool. Um, Coral Draw has had one for years and it's one of the things I think that um, Zara Extreme is missing. Um, not a big problem though. Anyway, um, he was having problems and I don't know exactly what he wanted to do with the, um, the figure but let's have a look at it. So we go into Window, Extrude and that's his figure that he'd created in Coral Draw and then imported into uh, Zara Extreme and one of the things he was finding if I go edit, select all, arrange, ungroup um, you can see down here it says there's 115 shapes and he found that rather horrific um, but he, he later found that um, Coral Draw actually had exactly the same it still kept 115 shapes when it did this extrusion anyway but he said he it wasn't uh, he found it very really difficult to work with, so uh, I just tend to kind of run. I'm just intention here is just to run through and give you some options what you can do with these type of things. It's very similar to a Zara 3D um, shape that you can um, export as a Flash SWF uh, into Flash and then export from SWF into uh, Zara Extreme you get the same type of problem with it through um, so uh, anyway that's been enough of me blabbering just let's have a look at a minute so you just go in quick wire view there and you can see how that figure is is made up uh, I'll go out of wire view here now uh, I'll, I'll do a edit select all I don't want lines at all so I'll just go into many none at this stage so we can always add lines later on if we want that figure is the the base figure and we can move that aside there um, and then you can see you've got if you drag select over here you've got quite a few now you've got 10 shapes on this one just roughly dragging over you've got 27 shapes in that shape of the head um, you've got something like 23 shapes in the arm, 37 shapes in the in that part of the leg, and 12 shapes in that part of the leg. All right. So, what can you do with it in Coral Zara? Now you it in Zara Extreme. Spit, spit. Excuse my. Uh, it's getting used to that word again. Uh, what can you do with it now? You've got it into Extreme. All right, I'm just going to go into the zoom tool at the moment. I'm going to zoom in on that part of the arm there. I'm going to hit the selector tool, drag select over there, and that just hits the selects those ten shapes that make up the arm. And the first thing I want to do with that is go edit, arrange, uh, sorry, arrange, combine shapes, add shapes. The first thing it does here, I think it's because it's probably been imported from Coral Draw, is it? It has no fill colour at all, you see it's got no fill colour or no line colour, so we need to give it a fill colour. So um, for the time being we'll just give it that green colour there. Okay, we can just, um, I'll have to zoom out again here for a minute. Hit the zoom tool, I'm going to select that part of the head now. Drag select over that, I'm just trying to get the sections of that head there. Go arrange, combine shapes add shapes again you lose any fill color give it a fill color give it a slightly different fill color so you know what it is zoom back out again hit the um, zoom tool I'm going to select his arm this time with the selector tool drag select over the arm section arrange combine shapes add shapes it's disappeared I've actually missed a bit there, so I'll go back a bit. Drag a bit more like that. I think I've got one too many this time, but what I can do is actually 
um, whilst I'm in the shape editor tool, uh, in the selector tool, I can actually go down, holding down the shift key and clicking on that one, I can deselect that that one there. Uh, hope you saw what I was doing there. Go arrange, combine shapes, add shapes. Again, it's disappeared. I'm going to give it a light blue filling this time. Um, click back up there. Um, select the zoom tool again. Zoom in on the leg. Arrange, combine shapes, add shapes, give it a color. Arrange, combine shapes, add shapes, give it a color. Just move that up there a bit. So, okay, you, you've now converted all those. If you now go edit, select all, I think it was 115 fill, uh, shapes you've now gone to, eight shapes, you've reduced it, it, it down a great deal. Uh, but one of the problems that's not immediately obvious is if we again hit the select tool, zoom in here, click there, get the shape editor tool, drag select over all the nodes, you can see there's thousands of ugly nodes which Coral Draw tends to do. I, I, I hate it the way that it does it, but that's what it does. And the only solution to that is to then come along and I'm going to have to move the thing along here a bit until you can see the smoothing tool and if I just smooth very little you can instantly see that that has changed the number of nodes thus reducing the file size hum humongously um, I'm going to select this one now hit the shape editor tool hit the move back along here hit the smooth smoothing tool um, let's just pick it up, yeah, so you can see the nodes have all been uh, reduced humongously again. And you can do that for each and every shape. Um, I'm probably running out of time that I can actually do this, but now you've got that shape, you can actually, um, say, go to the fill colour. Oh, where's the fill colour? I hate using this toolbar up this way. There's the fill colour. Um, click on the um, colour bar which I've now lost, click on it, there it is, um, I can fill that with that colour, close the colour bar for a minute, I'm going to give it um, a linear shape, I want this one to be from a, say a lightish green, I'll move that along to there, I've got a slightly darker green on there, Click on that one, stick a darker green on there. And I haven't got time to finish the whole thing, but you can see that now with edit, select all, you've got eight shapes. And if you went ahead and just used the linear fill tool, you could very quickly get a very efficient um, extrusion far better extrusion you'd ever get from from coral draw or anything else and it's a very quick method of doing it anyway that's the end of that tutorial and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it useful um i had to rush it a bit but i hope that's okay thanks a lot bye